Good morning. Let's pray together. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 139. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to the heaven, you are there. If I make my, the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness to you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows very well. My frame is not hidden from you, when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished, already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand of the sea, and at the end I am still in your presence. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God, that the bloodthirsty might depart from me. They speak against you with evil intent. Your enemies take up your name for evil. Do I not oppose those, O Lord, who oppose you? Do I not abhor those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies also. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and examine my thoughts. See if there is any way of wickedness in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. On Wednesday night we were talking with the youth group about uh, examining ourselves, checking ourselves, judging ourselves. More fearsome is to say to God, search me, O God, and know my heart. God knows everything about us. Wherever we go, we can't hide from it. He is always around uh, uh, and about us, watching over us. We give him praise. First Samuel and chapter 3. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli, and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call, lie down again. So he went and lay down, and the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli, and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call you, my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, See, I am about to do something in Israel that will make the ears of anyone who hears it tingle. On that day I will fulfill against Eli all I have spoken against his house from beginning to end. For I have told him that I am going to punish his house forever for the iniquity that he knew, because his sons were blaspheming God, and he did not restrain them. However, I, therefore I swear to the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be removed by sacrifice or offering forever. 
Samuel lay there until morning. Then he opened the doors of the house of the Lord. Samuel was afraid to tell the vision to Eli. But Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son? He said, Here I am. Eli said, What was it he told you? Do not hide it from me. May God do so to you and more also, if you hide anything from me of all that he told you. So Samuel told him everything and hid nothing from him. Then he said, It is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. As Samuel grew up, the Lord was with him and let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel knew that Samuel was a trustworthy prophet. The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel at Shiloh by the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord came to Samuel and came to all of Israel. Samuel heard the voice of God, but was afraid to give the message. Eli knew the word of the Lord, but was afraid to um, act upon it. Let us have courage to give and to act upon the word of God in our lives. And Luke 20, 20 to 26. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be honest in order to trap him in what he said, so as to hand him over to the, to the authority of the governor. So they asked him, teacher, we know that you are right in what you say and teach, and you show deference to no one. But teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Show me a kind. Whose head and whose title does it bear? They said, The empress. He said to them, Then give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were not able in the presence of the people to trap him by what he said, and being amazed by his answer, they became silent. Jesus gave a wise answer to the people who sought to trap him, whose head and whose image is on the coin. Give you the, use the things of this world for the things of this world, but give to God the things that belong to him. Lord, we offer up to you this day and pray, Lord, that we will be faithful in all that we do. That, Lord, we will give to you the things that belong to you. We will be bold to speak out your word and to witness for you. We will allow you to search our hearts and examine us. Lord, engrave your word on our hearts so that by in word and action we may be faithful to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of the church is governed and sanctified. Hear our prayer, which we offer for all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry they may serve you in holiness and truth, to the glory of your name. Through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.